want to use Kobe and keep using Kobe. Can he change your guys' mind with, with, with what he's doing the last couple games, or do you think the way you guys are using him might be the reason he's having that success coming off the bench and seeing the game for a little bit? Yeah. Well, if you, if you kind of look at what happened, we had a first group earlier in the year that wasn't playing as well. We had a second group that was rolling um, with Don and Kobe and, and Arch, and then we made that adjustment to put Don into the starting lineup, and that group started playing better, and that second group kind of struggled. Well, um, we got a second group that's playing pretty good again, and we're also melding Kobe into that first group at times in the game. So, um, coming off a 32 and a, or a two, 33 last night, two 33 point games, uh, I don't know if it makes sense to do that. Um, we'll examine it, we'll look at it. Um, we gotta, we're gonna play uh, Tuesday, uh, we're gonna hopefully practice Wednesday and Thursday, get some guys back and, and you know, try to keep this thing, keep it going here. So. What have you seen from Kobe the last two nights that you want him necessarily to carry over? I think he's been aggressive in transition. I think his finishing has been terrific. He's had the ball up and out. He's got it out of his stomach, something he's working on. I think his work pre-practice, post-practice is paying off. I thought he's changed speeds in the full court. Um, you know, you don't always have to be at full speed. You can let guys run by you, let guys catch up to you. And I thought he's done that. And then he's found his seams, almost like a, a halfback in football. He's got to wait for that tackle to create that hole and, and then, he, then he takes his burst so I, I think he's done a real good job of those things and um, he's very coachable and he's worked so good things happen. Jim what about with the decision